Murders get caught on camera in Chicago all the time. From murders happening in broad day to a guy going inside of a corner store with HD cameras without a mask on and committing a murder minutes later getting caught on a ring camera with the same outfit on. This first one we gonna talk about happened on December 20th, 2023. At around 1 p.m. the surveillance footage will show the suspect shoplifting from a store near the Chatham Village Square Mall in the 700 block of 87th Street. The victim was a 53 year old man. It was a verbal altercation with three male offenders and one female offender. And one of the male suspects took out a gun and shot him. The guy killed was Edward Fontaine Creamer, which he was a security guard for the store. This next crazy murder that would happen on surveillance would happen on May 5th, 2024. It would happen in the 7900 block of South Cottage Grove Avenue. As you can see in the video, four men got out of two cars and they would run up and shoot three victims. The first victim was 25 years of age and was struck in the arm, leg, and foot. He was taken to the hospital in good condition. A second victim, 26 years of age, was struck in the foot and was also taken to the hospital in good condition. But the 36-year-old victim, who I couldn't find his identity, was struck multiple times in the body and was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. This next murder that happened on surveillance has over 1.3 million views on the Chicago Police Department YouTube channel. It would happen on July 19, 2020. The shooting would happen in the 300 block of North Wabash at about 2 25 a.m. and it led to two people being shot and one passing away. As you can see there's a group of people shown in the surveillance footage. But this guy pulls out a gun and starts shooting. A 25-year-old woman was shot twice in the left arm and was taken to Northwestern where she was pronounced in good condition. But a 35-year-old man was shot in the neck and was taken to the hospital where he died. And his name was Gregory Crawford. This next murder would be a pretty crazy murder and would happen on June 15, 2022. As you can see in this video, a black car would come down this alley and park. The suspect would then get out the car and walk down the alley. He would then walk to the 79th Street CTA Red Line Station, and when he got to the door, he would pull out a gun and open fire, killing a 46-year-old man standing near the entrance of the door. This all happened around 3.30 p.m. I couldn't find the man's identity, but nobody was arrested for this murder. This next situation was another crazy situation. It involved a mother and her son having to take a guy's life for assaulting her. It was June 18th, 2023. Lady, get your food! Get Who? Get the cop? Hey, 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 hey. Get your food! Get your food! If you want to see the full uncensored version of this, you can go on my website, which is in the description. Carlicia Hood is 35 years of age, and 32 year old Jeremy Brown was inside a food spot arguing in an 11,000 block of South Halstead Street when 32 year old Jeremy Brown punched her in the face multiple times while her son pulled out a gun and shot him. This was all caught on surveillance and somebody's phone, but 32 year old Jeremy Brown died from his injuries. Her and her son was arrested, but all the charges was dropped, and she actually filed a lawsuit after the charges was dropped on her and her son. I am thankful that the Cook County State's Attorney dismissed the case. I am also thankful to have my son with me and, and, and by my side, and also his charges being dismissed. I thank my family for supporting me and the people all over the world. The people did not play, and I just thank God Everything was revealed. 
um, and, and just everybody who has been praying and rooting for us, I, I just thank God for them. Um, that did not go unnoticed. You are all not forgotten. And we are praying for all the families affected by this horrible tragedy. I am now in the process of healing and putting my family's life back together. This next murder on surveillance would happen on January 7th, 2019. As you can see in the surveillance, the suspects will pull up in a vehicle at a gas station in the 2000 block of West 63rd Street. They would drive through the gas station to scope things out. After they was done scoping it out, they parked their car in the alley and walked up and shot Gregory A. Jennings, 23 years of age, at about 4.35 p.m. He was struck in the chest and was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he later died. With this next murder corner surveillance, this guy will go into a corner store with HD cameras without a mask on and then commit a murder only minutes later. It was June 20th, 2020. 19 year old Leroy Battle will walk into a store at around 5 p.m. in the 7900 block of South Lula Avenue. As you can see in the video, you can see his face clear as day. And as soon as he walked out of the store, he committed a murder, killing 16 year old Charles Riley. Plus, he also killed Jay Sean Francis. And after he killed him, he got caught on surveillance with the same outfit on. He would eventually be arrested for this murder after some police around the area recognized him and some people tipped the police off. This next homicide happened on February 25th, 2020. As you can see, three men will walk up to the store in the 7900 block of South Avalon Avenue. They would look in the store, pull their guns out, and start shooting inside the store. Two men were shot ages 19 and 63, plus two girls were shot ages 18 and 17. The 18 year old girl Jaya Bayman was shot in the neck and didn't make it. According to the detectives, the gunmen were aiming for a young man inside the store. This next murder, this guy would get caught on surveillance too. It was March 7th, 2022. As you can see in the video, two males will walk up to the store in the 6600 block of South Morgan. The guy in the back would dap up a guy walking out of the store. This guy's name is Marnell Biggs, 20 years of age. He would end up walking in the corner store and getting caught on camera in HD. He would then walk out of the store and walk approximately one block, then come back and speak to the victim. After speaking to him, he would shoot him and run off. The guy that he shot was 20-year-old Elijah Suggs. 20-year-old Marnell Biggs was arrested for the murder of him. Murders happen all the time and get caught on surveillance, so this could definitely be a part two video. Let me know in the comments if y'all want to see part two. But that'll be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.